Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I teach you different ways to make money online and how to become a work from home freelancer. So if you use TikTok, you probably have seen this trend. People are using a new AI app to make professional headshots for LinkedIn. This app is insane. I've never seen anything like it. All you have to do is upload around eight to 12 selfies of yourself and they will create these incredibly realistic professional headshots of you. Some of the ones I've seen on TikTok are blowing my mind. They have millions and millions of views. So I decided to try out this app myself. A lot of people on TikTok are saying that the app is free, that you have a free three-day trial. And it's true that you do get a free three-day trial, but in order to generate these AI photos, from my experience, you do have to pay $5. So I paid this to test it out and see if it's worth the money. Now, professional headshots normally cost between $100 to $500. So if you're able to get this for $5 and you can find one that actually looks like you, it's not a bad investment. So what you're gonna do is download the app. It's called Remini, R-E-M-I-N-I. -I. You can find it in the App Store or on Google Play. So I went ahead and downloaded that. Then just go through. I said I'm using it to create AI photos, submit accept any terms and conditions, and click get started. And there are other things you can do here in addition to generate AI photos, like fixing your photos or enhancing them. So I enable the free trial. So you get a free trial for a week and you have to cancel it before the week is over. Otherwise it will charge you $4 a week. So I enabled the free trial, hoping that that would allow me to get the free AI avatars. But what that will get you is the ability to enhance your own photos. So you can just experiment with those features if you want. But I wanted to generate my photos with AI and try this trend for professional headshots. So I clicked, let's do it. Then I clicked my gender, continue. I uploaded eight different selfies. Make sure no one else is in your picture. It's just you. And then you have to pick a model image. Now this is very important that you select this correctly. You can scroll down and you see there's a lot of different options. The one that is trending right now for your CV or your resume is under curriculum. And these are the professional looking ones. You can also find up close ones that look professional that are not in this category. Now in my experience, you will get the best results if you choose ones that are up close because AI does not know what your body really looks like, and they might give you a body that looks nothing like your body, and it will be obvious that the headshot is fake. So I recommend going for one that is the chest and up based on my experience, and I'll show you my results. So I decided to try out this one. I clicked to use this model image, and you can see that 48 photos are included. So it's important that you select the model carefully and you will get a chance to use different models. So I clicked generate for $4.59 and I paid that with PayPal to try it out. So now it says uploading your model and it doesn't take too long, just 200 seconds or so. So you can see this was my first AI photo. Now this photo has my eyes and my nose, but it doesn't look like me. I can tell that that's a fake photo. So you can choose to download this photo by clicking on the download icon, or you can choose delete. In any case, make sure you save the photo because they will not be saved within the app. So I click delete for this photo, and then I went to the next one, and this one is getting a little bit better to how I look like. So I kept wanting to try some other models to see if I could get a headshot that looks more like me. So this one was a bit better, but still something's a bit off. This one looks a lot like me. The only problem is the teeth because I smile with both sets of teeth. Then I wanted to try this model for fun with the pink hair and this looks a lot like me. These ones really captured what I look like except with purple hair. I think that's because I'm not smiling in these photos and so it's not messing up my smile. Then I wanted to experiment with some of the body ones. So this one I really liked. I've never worn an outfit like that in my life. This does look like me, but you can see the hands are a little bit strange. AI doesn't do a great job of hands right now. This is another one, it's quite good, but again, you can tell it's not me, it looks fake. This one looks more realistic. This one I think looks like me. This one looks a lot like me. And finally, the winning one for me was this one. This one looks just like me. I showed this picture to friends of mine and they thought it was me. They did not think it was AI generated whatsoever. It looks like 
I'm wearing that outfit. That's my hair. That's my nose. That's my smile, my eye color. This one looks like me. And let's say that you really like one of these headshots, but there's something that you need to change, maybe the color of the hair or something else. And for example, in this image, they have made my eyes like brown and my eyes are blue. So I can just import this into Photoshop or another image editor. And then over here on the side, click on create new adjustment layer, then select hue saturation. And now you can see if I change the hue color, it's going to change the hue color of the entire image. So what you're going to do is let's say, okay, my eyes are this blue color. So I'm going to adjust this slider. I can even adjust the saturation down a bit to make them not so intensely blue. And now I'll go to image adjustments invert. So now what I'll do is click on the brush tool and you can select the size of the brush and you know, the hardness as well, or select one of these brushes here. And what I'm going to do is brush over the iris so it changes the eye color. And now I could export this image and this looks much more like me because it has my eye color. So by making some adjustments like that, you can really make your headshots look more like you in the event that AI has changed something and it just makes it so much more realistic. So you get 48 photos in total, but that doesn't mean you're going to love all 48 headshots. You might find three that you really like, but for $5, I think it's an amazing deal because to get a headshot like that with a professional photographer would cost between 150 to $500, who knows? And some people, if they don't have the budget to hire a photographer, this is a great alternative to get a professional headshot, especially if you don't need a really big one, you just need a small one for your profile picture. When you shrink any of these down to a small size, they will look realistic because people won't be examining them really closely. So if you want to check out this app, you can also do other things like fix blurry photos or enhance your own photos. And I think that this is a pretty good value for $5. And make sure to cancel your subscription so you don't get charged if you decide to go with the free week-long trial. And if you are looking for a completely free alternative to this, by using your own photos so it's definitely more realistic, I have a tutorial on how to use Canva Magic Edit, which is completely for free. You only need a Canva free account and you can make adjustments to your own image to give yourself a professional background and a professional outfit and turn that into your headshot. I've linked you to that tutorial in the description below. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know which headshot you like the most and I'll see you guys in my next tutorial.